Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this smoky eye. And the first thing I'm doing is using the Bobbi Brown Pill Pink Blush. And if you want to recreate this, you don't have to use this blush that I'm using. But I just needed like a soft pink shade for in my crease. So that's why I'm using a blush because I own a ton of pink blushes. But I don't have like a lot of eyeshadow. So why not use blush for in the eye? Like why not? It's basically the same I guess. So I blended that in my crease and now I'm going in with the Simply Merlina eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, which is slightly darker than the blush I used. So I blended the blush uh, quite high towards my brow. And with this I'm going to focus like mainly in my crease, so a little bit lower. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Corrupt eyeshadow and I'm going to use this to create my crease line. Uh, to be honest, when I started this eye look, I had no idea where I was going for. I only knew that I wanted to use a certain pigment, which I'm using in this video, and I just wanted it to be, like, smoky. So, to be honest, first I wanted to do a cut crease, but it turned out to be, like, a smoky eye or something. So, you don't necessarily have to start with this line, but at the end of the video I will explain why, because it's kind of hard to explain. But yeah, I really didn't know what to do. So now I'm going in with Cherry Cola eyeshadow to blend out that black line. Every time I go in with a dark line, I always go in with a shade which is slightly darker to blend it out. And for this I'm using a Dose of Colors pencil brush. Which is a really nice precise pencil brush, obviously, because that's the name. But you can really nicely use this for in your crease if you want to be a bit more precise. That's why I like to really use it for. Then I'm going in with the Love Letter Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I'm sure a lot of you know from the Modern Renaissance palette. But they also came out with this eyeshadow in a single version, which is awesome because I really like this shade. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the previous shade, but I'm going to blend it up a little bit higher. And I'm using a pencil brush again, and now I'm using one from Morphe, just because this one is slightly tinier and it just worked better for the inner corner area then i'm going back in with the simply merlina eyeshadow from makeup geek and i'm going to blend this with a morphe m506 brush just a little bit above that so basically i'm going in with a dark shade then a lighter shade and then even a lighter shade just to go from dark to light towards my brow and for this step you basically just need a lot of eyeshadows so I'm going back in with the Cherry Cola eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend a little bit more of that on top of where you can still see that line. I felt like it still looked quite harsh so I'm just going to blend a little bit more of that right on top where you can see the line. And just keep blending if you recreate this and it's still looking harsh just blend all the shades on top of it. Now I'm going in with the Inglot eyeliner and I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. And... I wanted to do a cut crease, so normally I go in with concealer all over the eyelid, but I changed my mind and I went for a smoky eye. So I never really do like a line in my crease when I do a smoky eye. I only do this when I create a cut crease. So that's why I feel like this video is kind of messed up because I make it like harder than it really is. You can kind of achieve this look in a more easy way, I guess, but yeah. It just turned out this way, so I can't really change it anymore. But yeah, I will link some other smoky eyes in this video so you can see how we did them. So now I'm going in with the Corrupt Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend this around the edges where I stopped applying the gel eyeliner. Uh, I feel like I applied a little bit too much gel eyeliner at the edges, so it was really hard to like blend out because it was just quite a harsh line and still there was like a lot of product and gel eyeliner dries so it was hard i managed to make it work but yeah it took me a lot of blending like i had to go in like seven times i guess with black eyeshadow so yeah i would recommend to go in with less gel eyeliner now i'm going in with the aubergine eyeshadow from anastasia and i'm going to apply a little bit of this on the eyelid around the inner corner area and a little bit at the outer area. So I did this because I'm going in with a pigment later and I wanted it to be blended in towards a other shimmery eyeshadow. 
And to apply the pigment, I'm going to use the Inglot Duraline. And I'm using the Pure Pigment in the number 125 by Inglot. And I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid. So when I was creating this, I wanted to do like a halo pop in the middle. That's why you can still see that black. But I changed my mind because it looked so weird. So I just ended up um, applying this color all over the eyelid. And I feel like it looks so much better. At the other eye, you can still like see the shade I used in the middle. But I don't know. I feel like uh, using the shade just all over the eyelid with nothing else looks better. So now for my eyeliner, I'm using that same Inglot eyeliner I also used for all over the eyelid. So I now basically have like a lot of layers on my eyelid. So it was hard to like to remove all this makeup because there was pigment, eyeliner, underneath it was eyeliner. And of course I also used a primer. So it was a lot of layers, but I just used a eye makeup remover with oil and I just like got rid of it. But my eyes did burn a little bit, but it's also because the day I created this, I also created another video. So I think it might be a little bit too much for my eyes to handle. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. So right now I'm using a winged liner brush from Sigma. And I'm going straight around that line where I used the shadow shields. And now I'm going to create the wing and fill it in with that same gel eyeliner. And off camera, I also applied a bit liquid liner on top of the gel eyeliner. Now for my waterline I'm using the John to Blue black eye pencil and I'm just going to apply this in my waterline and also tight line my upper lashes. When I'm done with that I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Corrupt eyeshadow and I'm going to press this right underneath the lower lash line. If you have seen more of my videos I'm sure you get bored of this because I always do the same but I'm pressing the black eyeshadow right underneath my lower lash line and also a little bit on top of my waterline to connect it with the pencil in the waterline. And then I'm going to use the Love Letter eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to softly blend this underneath my lower lash line. So somehow I turned off my camera and I didn't like show the end result of the blending underneath the lower lash line. Super weird, I know. But I used the Tarte Cosmetics Gifted Mascara and I applied my lashes off camera, which are the Attitude Wary Eyelashes. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm happy with the end result, even though I had something totally different in mind to create. But I really like that pigment in the middle of the eyelid. And I think it's really nice for like fall time and for the holidays. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. That will be so sweet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!